Um, so just a follow on from that question, if morphine is working, will it in time need to be increased? Andrea. If morphine is working, so if it's working, it doesn't... So we do a trial, mm. it has a beneficial effect. I can now walk two miles every evening and I've got a re I'm within the watchful dose limit. I'm taking 100 milligrams of morphine equivalent throughout the day and I've been doing this for six months. Will I, of a necessity, expect that within a year or two I'm going to have to no. increase that dose? No, not necessarily. Yeah, it doesn't happen to everybody. Some people are on the same dose for a long period of time. Uh, what we can do if you if if you're approaching the 200 a day and uh, you are reluctant or going up because of uh, because of all the complications, right? That we know uh, the sleep apnea, the hypogonadism. We, I didn't mention this, but there is also a type of pain that is caused by opioids. It's called opioid-induced hyperalgesia, and they are dose-dependent. So when you are concerned about all those, uh, the high doses, um, instead of increasing the dose or doubling the dose, we can switch to another opioid. So if the person was receiving morphine and think uh, that the dose should be increased, we can do a switch. So we go to another opioid, uh, when we do this, we decrease the dose, we calculate the morphine equivalents a day, we, de we give a discount of uh, 75, uh, 25%, so we only convert 75% or 60% or 50% to another opioid. And then your body, when your body receives the newer opioid, it's going to say, oh, it's a new medication, I never saw this one before, and it's going to start all over again, so you get all the benefits again. So sometimes we do this with the patch. A person was on uh, oral medication for a long time and thinking that maybe developing tolerance. Instead of increasing the dose, we say, let's go to the patch. And then you go to the patch and the person says, oh, it's a new medication. I'm all new. And then it goes for, for a long time. It doesn't mean that you have to be switching many times during the year. It doesn't mean that you, be, you need to be switching every year. But that's one of the options that we, we use sometimes. Instead of increasing the dose, you start a new opioid.